The little ducky swam in his pond extra long that day, waiting for the big ducks to fly home. He splashed water into the air, trying to get the best possible view through the evergreens the edge of the florist near his pond. He hoped to catch sight of a flock returning home for dinner. He was patient, for as long as a little ducky could possibly be. Then, instead of seeing ducks, he saw something else, something different and kind of scary, unlike anything he'd ever seen before. What kind of creature could this be, he wondered. He took a deep breath to stop his beak from quivering. With a brave look in his face, he stared. Then his heart began to thud. Uh-oh, he quacked a mumbled sound. Even in his imagination, which was lively for a little duck, he would never have been able to dream up such a sight. It was a furry brown critter, with a head full of bushy hair that bobbed up and down as it danced merrily across the fields. Mama, mama! he tried to yell, but all that came out of his beak was a warmling quack, sounding like it was sealed in a jar. Suddenly, he was not so brave. His beak curled down, and he began to quack faster than his flapping wings as he tried to beat his way up and out of the water. Oh, no, he cried. This furry brown thing is headed my way, and I'm stuck in this pond. What am I going to do? Monkey moved closer and closer to where the little ducky swam, now in faster circles trying to gain enough momentum for a fast getaway. His big blue eyes nearly popped with astonishment as he watched the critter grow bigger and bigger. The nearer she came, the stiffer his beak felt, until he couldn't even manage a quack. He decided to swim to the other side of the pond, jump out, and run home to his nest as fast as he could. For as hard as his wings flapped, his circles grew smaller and tighter until he found himself trapped in the pond reeds. He tried and tried, but could not wiggle free. As Monkey approached, she instantly spotted the cutest little ducky.